Stuart Haas Racing is one of NASCAR's power teams, building four of the sport's top drivers, Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, Finn Boyer and Danica Patrick. Whilst being fierce competitors on track, Offit SHR work together as a unit. We like to look at ourselves as one giant team and we break up into four groups. All our data in-house is shared amongst crew chiefs. We get together and talk about it. You can always learn something from somebody. You may not agree with it, but think about it. Just process it and see if you can take any little bit of it to make what you're doing better. At the center of the knowledge sharing base are the four crew chiefs analyzing the previous weekend's race data in preparation for the next NASCAR Cup round. On Mondays we have a pretty long uh, crew chief meeting and then a competition meeting and it, it lasts up to about three hours and that's just communicating about what happened on the weekend before and other than that it's, it's all the crew chiefs we all get along you know, really well and we send text messages to each other all the time. Just walking around on the floor you know we, we share ideas amongst one another we see something on, on our car that may be a different way of routing a line and a lot of it's based off driver feel there's some things that Kurt likes that Harvick don't like and those little bit of differences are always going to be there but as a company we try to be as close as we can. As you grow this big there's a lot of information um, getting created and, and it has to be passed along it's actually phenomenal here it's impressive to have four separate teams this many people working here and uh, the information does get translated so well. It's not just at the race shop where information is passed around. Back at the track, the SHR crew chiefs work together to find the perfect setups that conform to the rule book. NASCAR is really trying to make sure that everybody's held in, in a similar playing field. As far as communication goes with the other crew chiefs, we're kind of saying, hey, they were a little bit hard on me in this area, and he'll tell me something that maybe they were hard on them about. And we try and address it before we get there so that we don't have the same problem. The more you have the officials picking at things that are wrong on your car, the more problems you're going to have getting through tech. The drivers are also involved in sharing tips and ideas along with those of the engineers and crew chiefs, all designed to achieve the best setup. Most of the communication that I have is through my team. Um, obviously we have group meetings uh, with all the drivers and all the crew chiefs and there are some things that, that come out of that. It's a lot of communication but it's a very open notebook as far as all the EFI data that we get on the weekends, uh, with steering traces, throttle traces, all the setups are live as we make changes you know, on the pit boxes from pit box to pit box. So the more information that you have, the better off you're going to be and especially when you have other teammates that, that run well. That's what you develop over time with a driver and crew chief, you know, build the relationship and stay together for years. That's been seen across the garage with some of the pairings that have been together so long, much like Kevin and, and Rodney. It's just starting to pay off and get even better and better. When it's finally time to race, communication is still of paramount importance between driver and crew chief in the quest for a winning performance. Once the driver's strapped in the car with a helmet on, I'm his only avenue of information other than his spotter but when it comes to handling and making changes and what he needs you know that communication is, is huge and that's what we try to do on the 41 is take uh, the experience from everybody on our team plug it in and make the best guess we can at making our car as fast as it can be it's my job to understand what he's saying about the car and try to dissect through it and do the best I can to make the right adjustments. Almost everybody has to get to the point where you already know what the next guy's kind of thinking before he says it, and that's what makes the great teams great. It's just a flow. You know, everybody knows what they should be doing, what they should be thinking about when the driver says something. So communication is key to success.